What would happen if you took Iron Man's suit, melted it down, and turned it into car paint? Is that even possible? What is it even made out of? Adamantium? Or is that Wolverine's thing? I'm not a comic no, book guy. It's like, iron? Is it iron? I mean, Iron Man, it should be. Pretend it's possible. We did this project like 10 years ago. We've always wanted to redo it. We've just been waiting for the perfect time. So here's how it works. The S4 right here has a red base. This pearl right here is a very special pearl. It's Komodo Color Flip Pearl. And it, it does this really special thing where it's a color powdered pearl. It's not interference. But it goes from goldish to transparent. So if this works properly, you're gonna see like solid gold at some angles. And then the gold is just gonna pretend like it's not there and you're gonna see solid red at other angles. That's creating an Iron Man color scheme. Let me show you what this pearl looks like. Now, as I show you the powder, I have to give a shout out to London at Dip Hawaii. Because about 10 years ago, he's the one who DM'd me on Facebook with this exact color combo and told me to give it a try full scale. So. London, appreciate that. Oh, I spilled it everywhere. But I appreciate the, uh, the concept because this was your original idea. So, next gen satin. Now, the, cult, the, the pigment load that we used 10 years ago is a mystery. Even when you look back at that video, if it still exists, there's no mention. We didn't even understand pigment load back then. Correct. So we just started dumping bags of pearl in there. This time we're going with 12 and a half grams per gallon. It should be safe. It should be safe. So this is 25 grams right here. We're gonna cut it into another gallon as always. We're, we're going into this a little bit blind with just kind of fueled by hope and passion because we really want this to work well again. So uh, this pigment load should, should be good. Should be good. You don't wanna just have this low pigment load gold kind of shimmer over the red. You want it to go from gold to red like solidish gold to solid red. And this is the only pearl I know that can actually do it. So as it's swirling around, you can see kind of a lot going on here, but this pearl is a very unique ability to kind of just disappear when we want it to. So here's what it looks like over the, the black stick of truth. It almost has some kind of greenish vibes to it at certain angles, right? It does. You do get green hues after you see the gold. Yeah. Man, I'm so excited for this one. So Iron Man 2.0, 2023, let's go.
All right, guys, we're all done with today's project. I am so glad we revisited this color combo. I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, and usually I try to keep my opinion out of things. This is one of my top three favorite projects we've done all year. It is transitioning from gold to red so smoothly, so beautifully. I absolutely love it. We needed about three coats of that Komodo pearl to get this effect. We were thinking about sealing it with another coat of satin, but we love the way the sheen looks as it is. It's got almost that anodized look to it. Now, I've also been thinking with Gabe, we should probably be using this Komodo Pearl over other base colors because it would probably have an awesome effect over something like blue and green and gray. Now, I'm gonna take it outside so you guys can check it out as well. You know what to do. Leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Rate it one through five. And But while you're down there, if you happen to know what Iron Man suit is made out of, Drop a comment and educate me on that one as well. If you want to dip your own car, click right up here. We have all of our kits in one place. I had a ton of fun on this project. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I'll see you on the next one.